to that level? It's taken me um, about <laughs> probably eight months. Yeah. Seven weeks, eight weeks or something. Wow. Did, does it take a while to get the hang um, of the game? It took me a little while to get the hang of it, but um, you, the more you travel around, the more you can. So I was doing it by myself at the beginning and I wouldn't really know what I was doing. And yeah. <laughs> So that's um, Te Aratu Peninsula, this is it? This Peninsula, yeah. So did you all know to come here? Yeah, we've got a few couple of people that work here and we regularly come out here because it's a nice close cluster of portals that we can easily... OK. Easily and these up. portals are all over the world? They're all over the world, yeah. They're all based on, you know, on artwork. For example, this one here. There's this, this gate here, this picket fence gate. So this is Norfolk Pine, which is just to our left. This is the, spe uh, the Jack Pine Thunder, or Jack Pringle. So we've got a portal. Uh, you can't quite see it. The church is another one. Okay. Uh, so they all have to be based on a physical good item. Like, uh, for example, this one here. It's a turtle. It's in the ground over there behind the toilets over there. Oh, yes. So you, you go around, you find these, and you submit them to the... Well, Google, basically. Google runs it. So what, what oh, does that mean? Oh, it's a portal. Oh, yes. So actually, I'm going to like that. Um, so like, if you go back and have a look, you can see descriptions. So you can see description. So we should put food wizard. Food wizard. Becoming king, Arthur. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> and one of the goals is, um, you'll see that there's these green areas that's called a field. So you make these lines by linking two portals together. And when you get uh, make a triangle, it creates a field. When I was trying to level up, I was playing probably two hours a day. You now become I'm obsessed, yeah. though. And you think I have to put it down and just do the other thing I have meant to do. Not, yeah, like... Yeah. Driving through Glen Dean yesterday, <laughs> turning off um, Great North Road onto Jones Lorry, and um, there was no cars coming that way. Turning with one hand, I know. <laughs> and um, no, I wasn't texting, and I was trying to hack as I was driving, and I did. Uh, so here I am, um, just at the labs. I thought I'd better do some research. Um, when I met this group of people yesterday about this Ingress uh, multiplayer online. Um, using mobile phones, geolocation and whatnot and all this jargon, um, I thought I'd better get up to the play. So one of the players um, whose online name was CJ ended up um, flicking me through a whole bunch of information. 
um, websites about the Ingress game, how to play. Um, it just so happened that this person had also just done um, a seminar, um, a, a symposium, and did a seminar um, on the topic. So um, she also sent through some of this presentation information as well. So I'm going to trawl through a bit of that and see if I can get my head around this um, game a little bit. So, yeah, see you soon. Much of the public sculpture found in our cities is based on design seeded in the human mind. Certain places have an energy that not only attracts people, but attracts events. All around us are portals to another dimension. And through those portals, something called exotic matter, or XM, is leaking into our world. It's these portals and this XM, which an unknown shape or force is using to potentially influence our world. I know that many tools will be needed to fight this battle. You just have to know where to look and know what to see. Portals emit exotic matter into our world, and that matter has certain effects on our world. I started noticing that there were energy fields, anomalies on Earth, all around me. A few of them exhibit properties that are as yet unexplained. I know that there are others out there. What if they're already among us, but we don't realize it? Okay, here I am. I'm outside the Auckland Art Gallery in Auckland. Um, I thought I'd take this opportunity to figure out a bit about how this game um, Ingress is played. So I've received a text um, through CJ, who's one of the level 8 players, and she's given me the contact of a, a person named Nick. And now I'm looking around the gallery because you've got to go to specific, specific um, artworks. Here's one of them here. Big artwork there. I'm looking for one in particular so I can find Nick. Now Nick's going to do something, uh, he's going to attack a portal. He's a blue portal, he's on the green team. Um, and he's going to attack a portal and I'm going to learn a bit about what that means. So we'll see you soon. Okay, here we are, we're in um, AUC University in Auckland and uh, just getting together with a couple of guys who are playing Ingress so I'm just going to ask them some questions. Finally found them, it was great that I could be together with them so I'm just going to uh, turn the time on. Um, firstly, I understand you've got um, an online username? Yes, I what, do. What is your one? Mine is uh, Nikki G. Awesome, Nikki G. And what yep. is about yourself? I'm Loxian. Loxian. Cool. And how long have you been playing Ingress? I have been playing since uh, beginning of March this year. And what, what do you find one of the more challenging parts of the game? Gameplay or just the game in general? Um, I don't know, it's pretty addictive. Um, and sometimes you'll, you'll wander through and wonder and know that there's portals all around you, but um, trying to be strong and not burn up your battery life and your data on your phone because it's uh, sucks it real bad. I and mean, I understand there's levels. What level are you? Uh, I'm level 8. Uh, that's the highest level. I don't think Google will introduce any more. What level are you? 8. Level 8 as well. How long did it take you to get to uh, level 8? Quite a bit longer than Nick. I'm not so diligent as he is. And I wasn't walking around the streets all hours of the day and night doing stuff. When I was uh, leveling up, sometimes up to 5 hours a day, just walking around town. And yeah. So understand, are you going to um, show me how to attack a portal? Is it a portal? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't say it's, it's hard. Once you're level eight, then you have access to the uh, best best gear. Okay. It's quite easy even to go into a forest of enemy portals and just start firing, and uh, they're eventually going to die. This one is quite high, but there are other quite uh, high-level portals on Albert Street, which we're going to go and destroy. Uh, the red is the damage on the enemy resonators. Okay, the portal is grey. We can we can continue. This one was killed. We're going to take it. Uh, of course. So you mentioned they put on a multi-hack. What does that mean? Uh, multi-hack is um, is a mod on the portal, just like a shield is, which allows you to uh, keep hacking. Keep hacking be beyond the so-called uh, burnout of the portal. You are allowed to hack a portal normally just four times. I see. Uh, every four hours. So all the green portals are now either grey or green. Okay. So you basically you wiped out the enemy portal, was it? Yes. A couple of them. So I'm grateful to have uh, met the, the two level 8 players today. 
um, I can really see the benefits of um, people playing this game. It's a real communal type thing. You get out, uh, get some exercise and um, be a part of the world, connect with the world in a different way. So I've decided, I've, uh, I've put through a registration uh, for the Ingress game to get myself a profile. Um, here I am at one of the portals. Um, it takes a bit of a while to get my profile up and running. So um, yeah, so I guess watch this space. for about um, three weeks now and um, I must say it's oh, I'm finding it hard to stop it's getting in the way of me um, completing this documentary and um, oh come on the other day someone called me a noob and I found out that that meant newbie it was like the worst thing you can call someone in the game and I was really annoyed and it was the same guy who's been um, sabotaging everything I've been doing on the game as well. And um, oh, love, yeah, it's just it's just taking up too much hours, but I, I still think it's quite worth it uh, playing the game anyway. Um, I come up with an idea. Um, part of me wants to get this particular person back, and so I, I've decided um, to try to try something. up to the site and I've been I've been checking um, checking the game and I, to make sure that there's no one around doesn't seem to be my phone's been playing up a bit so I'm just gonna try to get to this portal before anyone else so if I can get to this before then then I can break this force field no flipping if it's around here oh come on where are you come on track over here. I've decided to take on two accounts and play off both the resistance and the enlightened at once. And so whoever gets there first, I'm just trying to, uh, I guess, sabotage it and see what happens just to mix it up a little. Here we go. This is the spot I was talking about. Some big uh, cheer tree trunk art thing. Oh crap. Oh, there's other people coming already. Why the heck isn't this showing up? Flipping. Oh, I just don't want them to see me. They might blow my they might blow my profiles. Why the heck isn't this showing up? Oh no, you know what, they're reading now. Oh, it's the same blinking guy. I, I, I'm, I'm getting sick and tired. This guy's been giving me a hiccup. to a place. My phone can barely blink and stay. It's like I'm being sabotaged. Every time I try to load up, I either run out of power or... And oh, I've had enough, I've had a guts full. You know what, I'm gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna People coming already. What the heck isn't this showing up? Oh crap. 
Oh, there's other people coming already. Why the heck isn't this showing up?